I'm standing on the Coolidge Bridge uh, over the Connecticut River here, and uh, I've spent many an afternoon out here holding political signs over the years. But of course, uh, our bridges and roads aren't principally uh, for supporting political campaigns. But I'm, I'm standing here because I wanted to highlight a couple of things. Uh, during the time that I've served in office, uh, literally, literally scores of bridges in my district have been uh, repaired and replaced. And uh, major roadways, Route 116, Route 9, Route 91, uh, 5 and 10, Route 2, all saw major, major reconstruction and improvements throughout my district. Uh, and when that work is going on, of course, lots of people are employed. Of course, it's also a bit of a nuisance for us as travelers because it interferes with our ability to get from here to there as quickly as we'd like. But once those projects are finished, uh, a lot of people will have uh, earned some pretty healthy paychecks along the way, but then our transportation system is improved and is critical for economic development and helping to support our economy. Uh, but uh, there's more than just transportation by car and truck. Uh, I've already spoken in another clip about the work we're doing to improve uh, rail transportation. Uh, but there are other people who like to do transportation in other ways. And uh, over my shoulder here is uh, a piece of the extensive bikeway system that we're creating here in Franklin and Hampshire counties. Uh, the Manham Trail, the uh, Norwatic uh, Rail Trail, uh, the Franklin County Rail Trail. These are all systems that are being built over many decades now, which are now finally being linked with each other so that you'll be able to one day start about anywhere in Franklin County and uh, be in a bike lane on a road, go onto a bike trail, maybe get back onto uh, a bike lane on a road, but then move from Franklin County all the way through Hampshire County into parts of Hamden County uh, over uh, South Hadley over the notch and heading into that direction into Holyoke and down to Springfield uh, and um, on Route 2 and, uh, and maybe other routes, uh, in fact, Route 9, all the way out into Berkshire County. So someday we hope to take this vision that actually started with uh, State Senator John Olver, now Congressman John Olver, to uh, create within Western Massachusetts an interconnected bike trail system so that you could bike from most any part of Western Mass to any other part of Western Mass. And in the last decade or so, we've seen approximately $20 million invested in bike paths uh, in our region. Also in another segment that uh, you can find in this series, I talked about uh, bus transportation and uh, our van systems through our Pioneer Valley Regional Transit Authority and our Franklin Regional Transit Authority. So through our public transportation system, through our bike system, we can not only uh, help it make possible for people to get from place to place through alternative systems, uh, but we're also saving energy and helping improve our, our climate. And uh, climate control is a very serious problem that we're wrestling with in this country and in the world, and we have to keep moving as aggressively as possible on that front. And we can do things in our own homes from turning off lights and, and having low flow shower heads and, and uh, you know, just doing, buying energy efficient uh, appliances. But we can also think about what we're doing in transportation. And even as we improve our road and bridge systems, we can also commit ourselves to working on alternative green transportation systems and then trying them out and who knows you might find that uh, the exercise you're looking for is actually on a bicycle getting from your home to work or from your home to the post office or the library so think about alternative transportation even as you're supporting improving our public transportation and our uh, traditional transportation systems through your taxes.